I can understand why people get into all this drama because if you don't get into drama nowadays, your channel seems to never grow. <laughs> but you know what? I'm staying away from drama. Uh -uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and comment down below and subscribe if you're new here. If you've been here, you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and join the family. All right, so as you can see in our bowl right here, we're gonna be making some brown stew turkey neck with some spinach rice. All right, so in Jamaica, we love to eat turkey neck. Love, love, love. You know what they call this in Jamaica? Ghetto oxtail. <laughs> Cause it's inexpensive, not as expensive as oxtail and you kind of get the feeling. So I bought this, it's a pound, one and a quarter of a pound of oxtails. I got it on sale. So I clean it up, I scrape the excess um, skin off. Uh, we wash them with a little bit of um, vinegar and lemon juice. Um, and you know, they're all nice and clean. On that we have one stalk of scallion and two cloves of garlic that we add to that. So now I'm gonna show you my spices. On our plate right here, we have one tablespoon of jerk seasoning. We have a 10 gram all-purpose Maggie season up. We have one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon of onion powder. And then we have, this is garlic pepper. We have one teaspoon of that and one teaspoon of cayenne and one teaspoon of paprika. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add all our spices to our Um, for a turkey neck, we're going to add our pack of Maggie all-purpose seasoning to that. And then we have some browning. We're just going to add not too much because if you add too much browning, it's going to make your, your meat bitter. And essentially what browning is, it's like, um, it's burnt sugar all right so we add a decent amount to that what we're gonna do i would say about one teaspoon what we're doing here is rubbing all our spices in we're gonna cover this and leave it for about 30 minutes let it marinate and then we're gonna get it started Hey guys, if you want to see someone else try out the spinach rice, go ahead and check out Carter's Eats, link in the bio. All right guys, so now we're on to our spinach rice. In our pot right here, we have nine ounces of frozen spinach, three cups of water, and then we have uh, two small, small cloves of garlic and a small piece of um, green pepper. Then to that, we're gonna add a stalk of scallion which we bruised so you want to just split it down in the middle and then kind of just rub it in your hand kind of use both hands and wiggle it so we bruise it and then a sprig of thyme we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to add in our coconut milk um we're going to rinse out the container we're going to wash some rice and we're going to add it to our pot so guys stay with me because we'll be back in just a minute it has come to a boil as you can see now we're gonna add a 13.5 ounce, 400 milliliter can of coconut milk to that. Add that to that, then we add one um, more cup of water to our container or can and kind of rinse out what's in there. We're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna add some salt, maybe about one tablespoon, and then we're gonna add four cups of rice. <laughs> Our coconut milk, spinach, and herbs and all those stuff has come to a boil. You wanna make sure it comes to a rigorous boil before you add in your rice. So we have our four cups of rice that's already washed. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. And normally cooking rice in Jamaica, we don't measure anything. So you'll see in this recipe that I'm kind of just winging it. All right, so I think we have enough liquid in there. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep this on high, and once uh, the liquid start um, drying out of the rice, then you're gonna go ahead and put the stove on low, 
and cover seal tight and let it steam for a few minutes, all right? So stay with us. So our rice, our coconut milk um, mixture is drying out of our rice. We're gonna just give it another two minutes. Let it dry out completely. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna reduce the heat to low and let this steam for about nine minutes, nine to 10 minutes. All right, guys? So see you in a minute. In Jamaica, we always think fresh is best. So as you can see, we have some um, bell peppers, um, garlic, thyme, onion, tomato. All these fresh vegetables are gonna go into our pot once we um, pressure cook our oxtail. So now we have three tablespoons of canola oil eating on the stove. What we're gonna do, we're gonna saute these oxtails to develop the flavor. And then we're gonna add some warm water over the top of it. And then we're gonna um, seal our pressure cooker and pressure it for about 15 minutes until nice and tender. And then we're gonna simmer all our fresh peppers and onion and garlic and all those stuff. So guys, I'll see you over at the right, stove. So as you can see, our rice starts to dry out. And just remember, always use a fork to fluff your rice so we're going to reduce the heat cover this seal tight and let it steam for about nine minutes right, so now we're going to move on to our turkey neck um the pot is steaming oh this is always the hard part about it because you got to add your stuff in and you don't want to burn yourself <laughs> you see all that steam coming out So we're gonna go ahead and saute this for about three minutes and then we're gonna add our liquid. All right, so we have our turkey neck going. As you can see, it's developing this nice color. The flavor is starting to develop. And we're just gonna keep sauteing them until we kind of um, develop a nice color. All right, so I'll see you in just a minute. So our turkey neck has been developing a nice color and flavor. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our water. We're putting enough water just to cover um, the turkey neck. And we're just gonna stir this when it comes to a nice boil. Then we're gonna add the lid and we're gonna pressure it for about 15 minutes. So I'll see you when it's done pressure cooking. All right, so after nine, 10 minutes our rice is done. Nice, beautiful rice we have right here so we're gonna wait on our turkey neck to cook now and then we're ready to grill all right so our turkey neck is now out of the pressure cooker see we stick our knife in there it's tender but what we're gonna do we're gonna add all our fresh herbs and vegetables to our pot mm. doesn't that look beautiful already and we're gonna go ahead, stir that in. We're gonna add a little bit more water. We did rinse out our container that we marinated in. We're gonna turn our turn. <laughs> we're gonna turn our stove back on, and we're gonna just let this simmer until all of this cook down. So I would say for another 15 minutes, and then we'll keep on checking up on it. All right. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. So our pot been bubbling for the last about seven minutes. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add one, two, three um, nice squirts of tomato ketchup into our pot. We're gonna stir this in and we're gonna leave it uncovered and let it simmer until our sauce get nice and thick. So I'll see you guys in just a few. All right guys, so our turkey neck is ready has reduced down to the perfect consistency. Uh, what we did, we added a half a teaspoon of um, salt to our gravy because it was a little bit on the fresh side. But you know, you gotta taste as you go. Look how nice and delicious that looks. With our nice rich gravy and our fresh peppers and onion and garlic that create this nice flavor. We're gonna go ahead and plate up our food so I'll see you at the mukbang. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, we're eating some brown stew turkey neck. In Jamaica, we love turkey neck and we make it a little bit different from everywhere else in the world. They say everything better, no way no better than yard. <laughs> you see, I'm even confused about what they say in Jamaica, but um, in Jamaica, we have a rice that's called Kalaloo rice. Kalaloo is in between spinach and kale. 
So when I came to America and I can't find Kalalu, I decided to make spinach rice. So that's our spinach rice. And then we have our delicious brown stew oxtails. And I have a little bit of potato salad on here. I didn't show you the recipe because this is not traditional. I just use what I had in the fridge and just throw it together. Um, so just take a look at that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a thumbnail. All right, so we got our thumbnail. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so um, we're gonna start with some of our spinach rice. And the rice is nice and fluffy. Take a bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Delicious. You can taste the coconut milk. I'm gonna get some of the sauce. Mm. Mm. Look at me. I got so excited that I didn't even pray. Let's pray. Father God, as we come before you, we hope that you bless this food that we're about to receive. Take care of all the impurities. Let it be of nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so we made it right with God. <laughs> Ooh. But, so, um, today, we don't really have a topic. Mm. But, Take a bite of the oxtail. Mm, 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 mm. 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 But there's so much drama going on in the YouTube space right now. And this is this is my my thing. Let's just keep eating. <laughs> mm. But you know why I can understand why people get into all this drama because if you don't get into drama nowadays, your channel seems to never grow. <laughs> but you know what? I'm staying away from drama. Uh -uh. Mm. But I told you guys just before that in Jamaica. A lot of people chew their bones. Don't bother give me any thumbs up for that if you don't like that. If you don't like that, just say, hey friend, I don't like that. But don't give me no thumbs up. <laughs> mm. But yeah. So. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I saw a bill of I um turkey neck the other day. And she said she done them in the slow cooker. No like Adrian. Also Jamaicans eat turkey neck so so much because it's inexpensive. So go ahead and make some turkey in. Mm. 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 <laughs> Sorry about that. Someone called me on my phone. I'm like, why? People can be so rude. When I'm filming a video, huh? Hmm. Mm. But as I was saying, in Jamaica, we really clean our bones when we're using turkey. Because mm, so much flavor. Mm. So much flavor is in the bone. But yeah, growing up in Jamaica, they have different names for every single thing. You know those canned corned beef? You know what they call them? Bully beef. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. And as you heard me say, in the beginning of this video, about um, turkey neck, they call them ghetto oxtail because when you look at oxtail, oxtail has the same like features. Of course, they don't taste the same, but they give you that vibe. We love the vibes. <laughs> oh, look how rich that sauce is. Oh my. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm telling you, this is so good. Mm. If we never had spinach rice, you better go get it. And let me know what you think. Because I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Mm. You see how tender that turkey neck is? And it doesn't take that long. Maybe like 30, 35 minutes. Mm. That's what I like about the pressure cooker. Make your life so much easier. If you don't have a pressure cooker, go get one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I always tell people. I say, if you can, mm. if we can cook one Jamaican dish, you can cook almost everything. Because I'm sorry, we use similar preparation method for. All our stews, all our curries, the only difference is when once, if one takes a little longer to cook, then you don't want to add in your um, onions and all those stuff early. And so, uh, it's almost ready to be done. Hey, mm, mm, mm. But Miriam would say it's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm telling you. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is it, this is it. Mm, 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 mm. 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 But you know, I was watching um, Carter's Eat Live today. And she was talking about what's your favorite saying that your mom, your dad, or your grandma used to say. That's your favorite. And first I was like, I was thinking about it and I was like, the first one that I said was, RDS must feel. And parents in Jamaica would quite often tell you that if your RDS, you must feel. And that just simply means that they'll tell you not to do something and you think you're grown enough to do it anyways. And then you end up in a situation that you probably hurt yourself or something or they talk to you don't listen and they whoop your butt and then you're like oh and they're like yeah he is odd you must feel and then the next one was all about respect mm. and that one went like this tree Grow can catch tree, 
but three not all as three. And that simply means that you might be the same height as me as a parent, but you're never as old as me. You never have the amount of knowledge that I have. So you should never disrespect me and I deserve that respect. So they're saying three grow up, three grow conquer three, but three not all as three. So that's a little bit of part to a proverb, you know, kind of situation for you. Um, but let's keep digging into this food because I'm telling you, amazing. Mm. If you haven't made this yet, you need to go. You need to. Mm. But one of the main reasons why I was influenced to do this dish too, why well, I saw, saw Carter's Eats did um the Batty Twins pumpkin rice. Mm. Cause I was gonna make this turkey that we just some um, plain all white rice, and then I saw I did that pumpkin rice. And I was like, mm, I had coconut milk to mine. They didn't, but everybody in Jamaica cook differently. Yo, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some spinach rice with the coconut milk and everything, and turn it up in the kitchen. And I was saying it to her on the live. And she was like, you should do it, you should do it. So, here I am making spinach rice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And this turkey neck is so tender. Mm. Mm. So, if you've been stewing your turkey neck for several hours for it to come tender, then stop doing that and go over to a pressure cooker. Because they are quick, delicious, tender, sorry, flavorful turkey neck. So guys, it has been fun hanging out with you guys, but we have a lot more coming from where this is coming from. So if you like the content, then go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and comment down below. Please, please subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Share with a friend, share with a family. Don't be... <laughs> Don't be selfish. Okay, share the love, share the joy. Love you all and peace.